Recent incidents of domestic violence, some ending in death, sparking outrage from all sectors of society. The government's lead on the issue, the Ministry of Social Services and Urban Development. Carla Palma tells us about the first in a series of seminars held at the National Training Agency to address this troubling issue. Through a multi-agency approach, the government plans to reduce, if not eventually eliminate, various forms of domestic violence in the country, whether it be physical, sexual, emotional, or otherwise. Friday's training exercise, spearheaded by the Minister of State for Social Services and Urban Development, the Honorable Lisa Ramming, is just the beginning. People are dying today, not tomorrow, today. They are depending on us. We don't need... 20 Zoom meetings, 18 emails, 15 talks before we could get on the ground. And I make no apology for this. We have to do this now to be a part of this, but not go in vain. There is a woman, there is a man, there is a child, whether a boy or girl, who would be grateful for this. They may not be able to tell you thank you, but you will see the rewards reaped. I want to see change in my country, and the change is going to start with me. Statistics show the increase in domestic violence across the country is troubling and concerning. And Minister of State in the office of the Prime Minister, the Honorable Miles Loroda, laments an urgent, thoughtful response is needed now. In the Royal Bahamas Police Force, National Crime Statistic Report for January September to September 2021, there was an 84% increase in general domestic violence from 254 cases in, 200, in 2020 to, two, four, to 467 the following year. Global data illustrates that one in three women reportedly experience violence, with a third between the ages 15 to 49 reporting being physically or sexually abused. Keep in mind that not only women are victims of domestic violence, but men as well. We have even seen men who are victims of abuse and violence, but cannot speak up because of the stigma associated with this. The Royal Bahamas Police Force serve as first responders to the domestic violence cases reported. Chief Superintendent Janet McKinsey recommits their efforts to the fight. As more persons are trained to identify, mitigate and resolve domestic and gender-based violence, it is our hope that incidents will drastically decrease. Today is an important step in the journey to end eradicate this evil. So on behalf of our commissioner, Mr. Paul Roll, his senior executive leadership team, we welcome this partnership. Wife of the Prime Minister, Anne-Marie Davis, was among the special guests, denouncing all forms of violence. Families and friends are scarred indefinitely. Communities are left vulnerable. Children suffer lifelong trauma that sometimes undermine the intellectual, emotional, and social development and health. And in the worst of circumstances, they are orphaned. Following this one-day seminar, it is hoped that participants would turn talk into action as they seek to significantly reduce the level of abuse in this country. Carla Palmer, ZNS Network News.